Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It On. So I'm trying to get another fix for the issue we've been facing in the game. Uh, but based on some of the threads that I've found regarding the issue, it doesn't seem like there's an actual fix for it. At least no one's found one yet. Uh, one guy was speculating that it was a, a corrupted save that was causing the issue uh, because when he made a new character, it never happened again when he started a new game. Then there was another theory that it's a because it's a 32-bit game being played on a on a 64-bit Windows 10. It is from this tale that you mortals create myths. There were many battles, many losses, many victories. The tempest spared no one. Your ancestors hid as the ground trembled under the gathered armies of Lord Ulm. They whispered tales of the radiant Issa, striking the winter fay like lightning, tearing the looming clouds. It was everything you know of war. But yeah, who knows? I mean, right now it's running really smooth. I haven't run across the issue yet. So maybe I did fix it. All I did was try reinstalling the game again, which I've done already. I didn't fix it last time. So far, it seems pretty good. Oh, he's, oh, he's straight up blocking me. If y'all are done, I'd like to finish looting. I'm trying to find the last piece of a Corkian set. So that has some cool new threads to wear around uh, the kingdoms of Amalur. I've never actually referred to clothes as, as threads in my life. Oh, gross. That looks like it's a hidden door, right? That's it's gotta be a hidden door. Passing through swamp and ice, desert and wood, was the exodus from frozen lands. Upon each hill the priestess sang, and closer to Erethel they came. The people walked in groups, the future houses of Rathia, planning the lives of gold and silver, music and laughter. Lush fields and streams Tyrion described to farmers, the first makers of the bread and food we eat today. 
The mages that await Illyria's touch now have her power. Well, it does seem like a second reinstallation of the game. Let me fix the issue. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Maybe I never did reinstall it. Maybe I thought about, or I meant to reinstall it, and I just never got around to it. Hmm. I don't actually remember now. I don't think that I did. Which would be a huge oversight on my part, because the first thing you ever want to do, especially with games on Steam, is to verify game files and then reinstall. Nine times out of ten, that'll fix your issue. I guess it's not super important, so long as it's fixed now, right? So it really should affect your experience. What's Bristlethorn? That's the Outlaw Pit. Not a quest for this area yet. But I also haven't been inside of the Shining Labyrinth yet, either. I am keeping track of the dungeons I haven't been inside of yet. And before we leave the Forsaken Plain, I'll make sure to go inside of each of those dungeons. Oh, there's a small, a small uh, stutter there. But it seems a lot less frequent than it has been, and it wasn't as severe as they have been. So hey, good news, everybody! From the naked dirt sprang the majestics, the firstborn of the wilds of Ashara. Around them, they heard the song of splendor of a once and future summer, and they responded. And the earth moved, the carver shaped, the architect built, and the shaper composed. All right, let's read about this Cal of Seasons. His garments are all that remains of a mystical summer fay house of seasons. Of mystical summer fay house of seasons. I think we found a piece of that before. Uh, we'll save that. What do you get for the Cradle of Summer? We found one of them already. 5% chance to steal 10 mana per hit. Well, neat. So not block in time. Down and around, we have a dungeon to go inside of. Uh, what's it called? Mole of Rain? I don't even know what quest we have to for that. Nice, we'll figure out when we go inside. Is it a main quest? It's not... Hmm, I will figure it out. But yeah, the game seems a lot smoother. I think uh, the reinstallation fixed it. So again, I don't know if I've done it, if I tried that before or not. 
Maybe if you have that issue, uh, just try reinstalling. That's usually the first troubleshooting step anyway. Don't need to tell you guys that. I'm just really happy about it. I've been sitting here racking my brain, and I think I may have just overthought it and forgot to do. The easiest thing. Which almost prevented me from uploading today, because I, w I uninstalled it without looking at my connection, because my internet was out. So I was almost scared that I wasn't going to be able to get an episode out today. Or get this episode out on time. Callus's notes. The scribbled notes belong to the famous historian Callus and are a partial account of the only battle ever waged between the summer and winter courts of the Fey. In the famous Godstorm, or Withering War, Lord Issa took upon the ancient cursed talisman of fate, a powerful but treacherous magical artifact of the heroic age Seely clan champions. It came upon Lord Own and his warband in the fogs and quicksands of the shadowy plains. Lord Issa, Lord Own, and the warbands fought for hours in confusion and so most of their supporters were dead, and both Issa and On were terribly wounded. At last, Issa took a mortal wound, and On, thinking himself the victor, left Issa alone to die. But the gravely wounded Issa gave his page from the Talisman of Fate, and sent him after On. This body. I swear, if this body has a uh, Corthian chest piece in it, I'm gonna be so upset. I keep seeing these things being eaten. But I don't think we've ever seen seen one of these just wandering around, you know? All right, come on, loot. All right, don't think I can get to that body. Found a hidden door already. I don't see a quest marker at all. So that's fun. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, these are for the lost scrolls. Got it. Easy enough. Word that none of these chests are on my map. Alright, now if y'all are done, I'd like to continue looting. 
Dalston's Notes. Thereafter, Lord Issa ruled for many years in peace of Andalantarth, till the fey groups of Eastern Clericon organized under the great warlord Own, raided Arathel, and then attacked Dalantarth. Lord Own despised the Seelie Fey, named himself and his followers the Unseelie Fey. All the magical energies of the Fey were directed to this single desperate undertaking of total war, neglecting the land and its bounty, and laying waste to fields and forests. For the first time, the entire Fey race faced misery and starvation, and thus this was called the Withering War. The more warlike Fey of the East defeated the weaker, peace-loving Fey of the West in every encounter, till Lord Issa lured the Fey armies of Lord Own into the plains. Brilliance. Plus 2.5 mana regen per second, plus 1 to spelling, and plus 1 lockpicking. Gnomish artificers created this ring long ago to aid adventurers in mastering mundane and arcane skills. Well, neat. Uh, Vekrith and Aurelia. And so Vekrith, the god of scorn, stole into the glade. From behind a tree he beheld Aurelia, goddess of love and beauty and all her splendor. From that day he took ill, pining for her. This foolish phase will fade away, Balin said. All things do. We must conquer this weakness, said Theoden. All is struggle and victory. Aurelia had seen Vekrith in the glade, though he had not known it. Long had his disdainful distance filled her heart with painful longing. Now she cracked his shell. So she spoke to Lepoku, and Lepoku whispered in Matharu's ear, telling him the seven singing bells had fallen out of harmony. Matharu, ever thick-witted, set out on the four-day journey to visit every bell. Unwatched, Aurelia crept off to Vekrith, and there they unveiled to each other their holy, numinous, and ineffabilities, and so they were wed. Love and hate are married to this day, and the fools who cling to Matharu's name rage at the holy union to this day, for truly, they're sealed shut, and their hearts are cold as stones. Better than what I have, so we'll equip that. Another sacred tract. Same thing, though. Okay. Another hidden door. Should I go south? Come on, Corthian chest piece. Sweet, Lore Stone.
that does not seem so strange. I'm sure there are many people who in their youth had a similar experience, but of course I am leaving something out. I mentioned the unrest in my soul. I know it intimately. When I was young, I was visited by something unlike anything else of this world. It was an ephemeral, ghostly thing. I called it a divine spirit, for I had no better word to describe it. This thing was not fey, but possessed a timelessness like one. It glowed with an aura of magic about it, but I was not afraid, for a serene peace was born on the countenance of this divine spirit. What's this guy doing in here? We'll talk to him in a minute. Let's go clear out this uh, direction real fast. So I guess if that issue ever creeps back up again, I'll just reinstall and hope for the best. I'm really excited. I'm so happy this seems like it's fixed. You guys have no idea. I was staying up late every night, later than usual, trying to find answers on the internet, things like that. It was just, uh, it was so frustrating. And I think I missed the most obvious step, which is just right up my alley. It sounds like something I would do. Which is made even more embarrassing, considering troubleshooting used to be my, my job. So... <sighs> Hello there. Out enjoying a walk in the ruins? You'd better keep your blade nearby. I use a hammer, thank you. A forsaken plane. An incredible region. One that begs to be studied. Where else can one truly get a sense of the withering war and its dramatic effects on our world? Withering War. It is endlessly fascinating. We have nothing like it in all our long histories. The Fey are singular in their abhorrence of warfare. It's what makes them unique. Aryan Rav. I am a student of the world, my friend. The world. One cannot learn what he wishes to know from books and recipes. No, he must search the countryside for answers. Look around you. This ruin holds knowledge so deep that no one man will glean it. But that will not keep Arion Raff from trying. Ha! Huh. The Cradle of Summer. Of course. The Cradle, an incredible setting, so rich in its magical history. I was there months ago searching for artifacts, but only came across a few random wand components and a reagent or two. Nothing fantastic, but definitely worth the trip. Goodbye, then. Oh, that was a pleasant conversation. I like the hidden objects that you discover should also give you some experience. Fullman Ring. Ooh, plus one of mine abilities and minus 15% equip requirements. Wearing this ornate ring enhances a person's strength, allowing easier use of heavier weapons. I wonder if it's better than the Ring of the Gladiator, or Band of the Gladiator. Only in that it gives me plus one to all of my mine abilities. May 20% damage. Let's see. Where am I at? It's a flat... Alright, 35% damage with hammers. Next level will be 40%, so it's an extra 5% damage with hammers, plus 5 base damage as well. That plus 5 base damage is... 25%... More than 
more there. Uh, I, I would think this is actually more damage, yeah. Let me know if I'm wrong. Math is not my, uh, my strongest subject. You can't go any higher than that. That's as high as you can go, um, plus two to every skill. So six is the base for the hammer mastery, and I have two plus, two plus one to my piece of equipment. Maxing it out at eight. Is there a, that's not like a DPS screen, is there? No. I don't think there is anyway. I'm not going to waste too much time looking for it. You may think I'm lying, but unfortunately I'm telling the truth as I saw it then anyway. This thing was a fleeting companion, but a companion nonetheless. Do you hear it's the earthly moans of time? Listless motes of cavern dust, the crumbled ruin beneath our feet, or the ordained path of the blessed. You have found their way, their home, their solace. You're near them. No, I was wrong. What? Fine. All right. Uh, where is this? Is it a task? No, it's right here. All right, it's just a very minor side quest. We'll head back to the Helm Guard. Turn this in. Then we go back to Canarock and drop off some of our equipment and sell the rest and repair what I have equipped. And then that might be it for the episode. And then we can start the Cradle of Summer in the next one. This hammer's starting to grow on me. As much as I like the Heart of Ember. Oh, the Prismere hammer has a a certain appeal to it. Plus, I think the red contrasts the green armor that I'm wearing right now very well. It'd be really cool if you could customize the coloration of your armor. So, like, how you can see there's, like, a few different colors in this armor. If you had... You could mix and match. So, if I could put, like, some red... Uh, what's it called? Lining, gilding on my armor or something like that? That'd be cool. Anyway, uh, let us go to Helmguard. Because the game has some really good aesthetics, and I think to really push it over the top if they added some more customization options for the equipment. Mind your ways while you're here. It would only benefit. Uh, the Mulrain contract is done. You've all the scrolls then? Good. Nasty thieves, them kobolds. Here's your gold then. Good night to you. A right, little bit of money, no experience, but that's fine. I'm already a little overleveled as it is. And to Canarock, which is all the way over here. You do get more player homes. I don't, I'm assuming, I have no idea where I am. I'm assuming there's one in each region. And I think there's like what, three primary regions. You might get one here in the Plains of Arathel, and then one in Detir. I may as well check this chest. Are the other chests back? So it might be possible to just go around and keep farming the same 
Well, it is definitely possible to keep going around and farming the same chests over and over again. In hopes I get that Corthian chest piece. Upstairs. She's almost always upstairs. We've now. Okay, I want to clear out some of these redundant potions. Like, I really don't need those anyway. So we're going to take a minute to do this. You know what, that might come in handy for certain quests, so we'll hold on to that for now. I think any of the single stacks of potions, we're just going to go ahead and sell. Even if it's something I will end up using. I wish that all the crafting materials were kept inside their containers. When you were in a... I can turn that in as well. What is it that I can do for you? Widow, spare you. So when you go into your inventory... This is where your, so like your alchemical recipes, component case, this is where all your components are. I wish it was contained like that in the merchant's inventory as well, so it was easier to sell and navigate. No, I'm not that guy. There's a moat well. Um, I think it's this guy. Const it's good to keep work. It reminds me stay alert. All right, let's go drop off some stuff in our chest. Our home chest. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, show off what the Corthian set looks like so far. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard to use without the chest piece. So close. Just need one more piece. I'm never gonna find it. I just know that it's, it's never gonna happen. Oops. But we'll hold out hope. So we didn't get a ton done in this episode. We did... We knocked out a few lore stones and one whole dungeon. But we'll get back to the Cradle of Summer and set up for the next episode where we will begin exploring there. I can't talk. And you know what? I'm gonna go grab this lore stone real f Well, yeah, let's go grab this lore stone real fast. Pop. 
departing their home beyond the veil, the firstborn were torn asunder with a cry that still lingers in the heart of every god tree and mountain. Then, emptiness, followed by a darkening sky, and the frost wept with the first winter. All right, we're in the Cradle of Summer. We will begin exploring it next time. I just want to check a couple of our lore stones. Need five more for summer, six more for fall. That seems like it. Cradle of Summer, we need three more for that 5% chance to steal 10 mana per hit. Plus 20% burning duration. Just a straight plus 20 health. You get what, three of these plus 4% healths? Okay, cool. By the way, I'm going to call it here. Next episode, we will explore the Cradle of Summer and see what uh, quests we can't knock out. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.